Good morning. Uh, go down to Cooper's Furnace. Uh, quick look. There's a river. Um, well, let's see. Coming down here for a hike. I planned on spending pretty much the entire day down here hiking and uh, seeing how I do. I got in a truck and started heading out down here and realized that I left my favorite hat at home. Then about halfway here, I started having an allergy attack. And I realized that <clears throat> I'm not taking my medicine this morning. So I managed to stop at Red Top Mountain and uh, have some allergy medicine and a couple of little things I could I could take to help make up for it. But I'm gonna come down here today and put in as many miles as I can. If I get to feeling bad or whatever, I'll just go home. No big deal. There's lots of ways uh, I can bail out. So I'm not committed to any really long stretch except for when I head over to Pine Mountain. So, uh, but still, even at that, I can turn around at any point and come back and get around this little corner here. This is a blind corner. Speed limit's 25, but you know how that goes. <laughs> Nobody doing 25, are they? Nope. There's the furnace. The Cooper furnace. Gonna go a little different way today. Not much different, actually. Just gonna go up here and uh, hit the uh, uh, little interpretive trail, but we're just gonna cut back over to the gravel road via this little trail. Do something different. We'll get to check out the furnace a little more. Backside. The way I understand it, from the uh, historical markers, is this up here. If you can see the rocks up there, there used to be a thing that ran from there to the to the furnace, and that's where they would bring the ore in. The train actually pulled up right there, pulled in over to the furnace. Uh, so pretty out here today, 64 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. And as you can see this rock wall for the old railroad continues down through here. Anyway, just gorgeous out here today. Watch out for the Joey No Shoulders. And uh, Hopefully, get to enjoy a beautiful day. Here's a overlook of the furnace. This is the uh, power lines. Where'd it go? <laughs> These are the power lines coming out of the uh, generators down there at the dam. So the power leaves out of here. And uh, then we'll come down here and cross this little creek. Man, everything has greened out so much since the last time I was up here. That buzz about B-52 bomber, I think. I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, here's a little creek. Funny, here the last time, lady had her kids out here, her dogs, and they had this whole area right here covered up in blankets. So if you wanted to walk the road, you'd have to go through the bushes to get around them. It's like, uh, well, some people just don't know better. So here we go. Ooh, fossil rocks. The creek looks like. And across we go. And up the gravel road. I don't know if you can see or not, a little doe standing over on the 
Oh, Make a little pond here. A little pond that way down there. Way there. Which is funny because everything else right here is way up. Oh, three of them. Good gear. You can see them or not, but then I can zoom in on the few gear. You can see them or not, but video. Yeah, the whole pond's way down. Anyway, off we go. I'm gonna do one this morning. Well, the cars that pulled up in the parking lot left. So, I guess I'm the only one in the parking lot now. If you've never been up here, uh, if you can do any kind of hiking, I highly recommend coming up here. Do it during the weekday, because there's hardly anybody up here. But, you know, on the weekends it gets a little crowded. And I mean crowded, I don't... <laughs> I see more than three people, or four people on the trail, it's crowded. Uh, anyway. Where we're at. What we do. Comes out of the that little spring comes out of the side of the hill up there. Right down here. This water is really clear looking. And uh I hope it's as clear as uh health wise as it looks. Well, today I think we're going to do something different. Uh, I'm on the mountain bike trail now. That's uh, where I came from. Little uh, curved bridges right down there. In the hole. This is heading up. When I get to the intersection up here, I usually go straight and go up the steep side of the steepest trail of the two mountain bike trails. It's the older one. But today, you know, I've never hiked the other one uphill. I've hiked it downhill several times, but never uphill. So uh, today we're gonna give it a shot and, and see if uh, see what we can see. It's pretty interesting. It's a cool mountain bike trail. It's got some neat jumps and uh, big rocks and stuff, but uh, it's pretty too. It's just not a straight down sled run like the other one is. So uh, I'm looking for things that kind of mimic my next hike on the Bent Mackay. And uh, both of them, both of them fit well. <laughs> so anyway, uh, they both lead to the top of high mountains. Uh, that's what we're, I'm going to do. So uh, I see something nice, I'll let you know. Okay, so the split I was talking about. That way it goes up the old trail, which is just a sled run. This trail is a newer trail, I think. Has jumps and things on it. A little more uh, gradual slopes. That's the way it came from. And if you remember, talking about the two trails that uh, intersected each other, and I told you, you could bypass that climb. Uh, this trail, that's where it goes. Once you head downhill, there's a little slide uphill, I think it is, and pretty much downhill after that. It parallels the creek all the way down. 
back down to uh, Cooper Furnace Trail and then uh, back to the, the furnace itself but we are heading this way which I said is uh, not a usual thing for me we'll see how we like it might regret it if we do we'll come back and do that one but I doubt it because what I'm going to do is once I get top of high mountain plan on taking the west loop which is pretty strenuous for me not for young people but for old folk like me it's uh, not real easy and I'll do that well I say that that's a misleading I guess to a point and that the last part of the trail is really uphill it's whew, forgive me if I happen to pass it but man this is a hill I don't know if you can't really tell but and that is steep it's about like the other trail in this section that's level camera's up right there I hope that was a key. And that's where we're going. So, half and puff. A little bit of distance each time. Stop. Rest a second. Muscles catch up. Uh, yesterday I did a 1500 stairs. Over 1500 stairs. And it really works your legs out good, but it doesn't work on a cardiovascular, like consistent non-stop climbing. Uh, I was doing the steps with a full 22-pound pack, too. I'm only carrying, like, about 12 and a half, 13 now. My day pack, just trying to carry some weight. Uh, I can imagine how much more fun this would be. With a 22 pound pack. So, <clears throat> try everything you can to lighten that puppy up. And you can see how high I am now. You can kind of see the tree line out through there. There's Lake Alatoon over that way. I'm sitting on top of a jump. And that is down, 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 down. There's the level. Yeah. This is where I gotta go up. So, up, 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 up. The joy of hiking. That's all I can say. What don't kill you makes you stronger. Sometimes you wonder if it's gonna kill you what makes you stronger. <laughs> now the, uh, Light berries are blooming. I believe that's musky dying. Vines. And we're almost to the top. A few more feet. I don't know why, but today that thing just kicked my butt. That was hard. Whew. Okay, on to the top. What a beautiful day. I don't know if you can see it or not, but every so often you'll see a mountain way out in the distance. I guess that's Lost Mountain, maybe. loop the west loop loop is very warm uh, it gets a really high volume of traffic because it's accessible from i-75 main street cartersville uh, oh how nice isn't that really nice somebody did to the uh, trail sign here parents didn't bring them up any better or what i don't know Anyway, I think the trail goes around that way, 
and it comes back out right here if I'm not mistaken so um, I'm going to go that way and come back well 1.05 miles from somewhere the orange blaze trail at right, elevation 1277 enjoying this beautiful hike in the woods Make sure you were here. The mountain laurel is just really thick in here. Really pretty. Okay, we added some new signs down here. Uh, hiking. Old trails to the left, loop trail to the right, Main Street parking, 0.18 miles. So that's the boot trail. And that one down there goes to the parking. Parking lot is a, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a wood bridge right down there. You cross over. Again, I don't know what in reference to, but we're at 1.579 point elevation. And it was like some kind of teal color. Uh, blaze here, long this way. So we got 0.98 miles to the summit. It says difficult, and it means it. So the mountain laurel is just stunning down here, just full blown. It's beautiful. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out here. On the right here, where it's pretty. On the trail, uh, crossing the little footbridge here. Um, anyway, so probably about I'll, I'll push the mileage. I'm not sure how far it is, but nowhere near as far as I wanted to do. I'm just out of gas. Just didn't sleep good last night. Didn't get enough sleep. <clears throat> Hadn't had lunch. Uh, I need to force myself to take a lunch no matter where I have to stop to do it at it means just right in the middle of the trail I guess <laughs> anyway uh, what a beautiful day it turned out to be the mountain laurel was fabulous I went from uh, Cooper Furnace I went on the Cooper Furnace Connector Trail over to Pine Mountain went up the the uh, bike trail the steep part on the steep side of the mountain and then I went to the top of the mountain came down went around the west loop and back up the mountain and headed down uh, and back to Cooper's Furnace so, anyway all in all what a beautiful day I mean just look at this it's just gorgeous you're just out here all day yeah. Water thing going on down there. Just beautiful. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And, uh, I'm probably out here again tomorrow. I'm gonna try to stay on it and uh, make a trip at the visitor center tomorrow or something. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you there. Y'all have a good day.